from Left Brain Craft Brain. Hope you're doing great today. We're doing a classic science experiment, the egg in a bottle trick. You might have seen it before, but look at this. It's a hard boiled egg. We want to stick that inside that bottle. Does it look like it can go? No. Add a little science and that little egg will be right inside this bottle. So what you need today is a milk bottle. We like these, I like these because they have a nice big wide mouth. Some hard boiled eggs. You're gonna want a few extra, not just one, because you'll probably want to do this experiment a few, few times to see it happen. You need some matches or a torch and some grown up support. This is definitely, because it involves fire, is a project for the adults to show the kids. The last thing you need is some paper, which we're gonna set on fire. So first up, Let's get our paper and our bottle all lined up for you. Okay, now you're gonna grab a match and get ready to light it. You also wanna have your eggs already on the side because this is gonna move fast. So you really wanna be ready to have this um, with the eggs ready to go. So first up, oh, try that again. First up light. <laughs> First up, light your match. There you go. Then you're going to set your paper on fire and you're going to drop it right in the bottle. Then you're going to pop an egg right there. Now watch it suck right through. Super cool, huh? So what happened inside this bottle that caused the egg to go down into the bottle? It's all about pressure. So when you drop that burning piece of paper inside the bottle, the temperature heated up and then it caused the air inside the bottle to expand and go and escape around the small cracks outside on the edges of that egg and escape, escape, escape. Now, then what happened was as all the air escaped the bottle, the fire ran out of oxygen and could no longer burn. So the paper stopped burning. And you can see there's leftover paper inside. It just ran out of air, so it couldn't burn itself out. So then as the fire burned out, the temperature dramatically cooled inside the bottle. But you know what? Cold air takes up less room than, and is lower pressure than hot air because of a thing called the ideal gas law. When temperature goes up, pressure goes up. When temperature goes down, pressure goes down. So we've cooled off in the bottle. Temperature has gone down. The pressure has gone down. And suddenly the pressure on the outside of the bottle is greater than the inside of the bottle. And it wants to rush inside that bottle. Now, when we originally had the air escape out of the bottle, there were little cracks around the egg. The egg has now sealed up that and all this pressure can do is force that egg inside into the bottle and pop, there it goes. And um, basically, it's just a matter of high pressure winning over low pressure. 